look who's still here. We're back with our entertainment yeah. critic and fill-in host extraordinaire. Can't get rid of him. Ryan J. Yeah. Wearing the perfect shoes for Go Red oh, Day. Oh, thanks. My yeah, Ruby seriously, slippers. Yeah, seriously, great. Um, so yeah, you gotta like really like hike them up yeah. there. Um, so Argyle is a movie that's in theaters. It's re rated PG-13. I feel like this one's getting a lot of attention right now. I was so excited. The commercials, the trailers look so good. I remember months ago seeing it saying, I can't wait to see this film. And it's directed by Matthew Vaughn, one of my favorite directors who previously did one of my all time favorite films, Stardust 2007, must see. But Argyle, not a must-see. Oh, no. What's what's wrong with it? What, what did you think? Well, it's all over the map. It has problems in storytelling. There are twists, and there is this visual device for the main character played by... Here we're seeing Dua Lipa and oh, uh, Henry gorgeous. Cavill. Oh, she's gorgeous. I'm telling wow. you, there's something special about that woman. It's oh, all, let's just leave it at that. Beautiful. But um, Henry Cavill, Superman, you know, I don't know what's up with his hair there. It's ridiculous. But, um, if you could try to make someone like that look less attractive. <laughs> the... Um, you know, it's there are these twists and there's this visual device because the lead character here is Bryce Dal Dallas Howard and she plays a writer and she has a very active imagination. And when you see her flipping between what's real and what's fantasy, it's like this wink of the camera. And I found it like almost epilepsy inducing, seizure inducing. It was ridiculous and annoying. The cat is really cute. The cat's um, adorable. That's the one that's in a lot of the movie posters. Mm -hmm. It looks so cute. Great design, cute. It is so desperately and forced comedy, not natural. The twist didn't make any sense. It's honestly, it's like a bad idea for a digital SNL sketch that goes on for two hours. Skip it. Oh. I'm saying don't, you won't even enjoy this if you try to skip it's, it. It's like not it, even good comedy. It's huh? embarrassingly bad. Oh, I hate yeah. to hear that. And I feel bad um, for but all of them. Dua Lipa is gorgeous. Yes. Might be worth seeing for that. Um, Zone of Interest is another one that's in theaters, PG-13. Right. Um, what did you think about this? This one's loosely based on a true story of a commandant at Auschwitz, uh, concentration camp during World War II and the Holocaust, and he and his wife and kids lived just outside of the wall of the Auschwitz concentration, concentration camp. And so this is like their idyllic life and their home um, just outside the wall. On the other side of the wall, you're hearing everything. That's crazy. What an interesting concept. Mm -hmm. um, how do you feel this compares to other World War II movies? Well, it's not as explicit, so we don't see like in Schindler's List where we're actually seeing images that, you know, will haunt you. Yeah. This is all done really in the sound design and the implication, which is in some ways a lot of people are finding that even more terrifying because you're filling in the blanks and uh, connecting the, the dots with your imagination. Mm -hmm. This is, you know, it's in the theater. It makes a lot of sense that way. Um, but it's pretty, you know, like it's horrific. And it's horrific. It's such the, the, the contrast of them living their best lives, knowing what's happening literally just feet away from them and completely ignoring it and in a way, you know, condoning it in that way. It's, it's hard to watch but see it because it's like one of, it's up for best picture, best director, international feature, sound, and adapted screenplay at the Oscars. Wow, yeah. for this year. Mm -hmm, yeah. Okay, interesting. We, it looked like it was slow, slow moving. Very, very slow. Pace, okay. Yeah. Um, the next one is D and Friends in Oz. Um, this is on Netflix, right? This, this, is, is. this is for kids. Yeah, it's a new animated preschool series on Netflix. I was so <laughs> excited. A new um, animated Oz series. It's so adorable, and it takes basically, you know, the. the characters that we love, which is young D there, AKA Dorothy. She goes to Oz through with a magic key and she goes to school there and she finds her friend, the scarecrow, Tin Man or Tin Boy, the lion. And the school is oversaw by Miss Emerald. And it's really adorable. I mean, uh -huh. the animation is so colorful. Whenever you see animation, you always wonder about the voice talent. Was it Such good in Such good this? voice talent. We have Tony winner LaShawn, who I saw as in The Wiz as Glinda at City Centers. We've got Matt uh, Dansky, who was a Bach on National Tour, and Layla Capers voices D. She was Nala on Broadway in The Lion King. This is a musical series. The oh, songs are great. It's all singing. Yeah, I, I mean, like they could. This for me, for the adults, it's about the singing and the choreography and the dancing. That is really fantastic. But it does skew very young, and it's not really based on Oz. Aside from having those four iconic characters, the locations, other characters, um, some of the adventures and the things, they do not draw back on any actual Oz canon. Oh, so it's all original, but really great messaging and teachable moments. So really fun. If you've got the young ones, they will love it. Stream it on Netflix. And that's D and Friends mm -hmm. in Oz. Okay, um, you're doing something fun tomorrow night, right? Yes, I'm going to be hosting Match Game, which is like oh, a game show, you know, from okay. days of yore <laughs> and mine. And it's going to be at Skylight Music Theater. So after the 7.30 p.m. performance of Xanadu tomorrow, 
tomorrow if you want to go to the show great but even if you don't go to the show if you head over to Skylight Music Theater and meet me up on the second floor around 9 p.m. I'm gonna be hosting a match game you can participate in it come on up the bar is gonna be open if you want to get some drinks um, and just hang out and there's gonna be some um, people impersonating celebrities it's gonna be a lot of fun so cool. I'm looking forward to so you're yeah. hosting a it's game good. show yeah why not look at you multi-talented that's fun okay so that's nine o'clock you can see Xanadu beforehand mm -hmm. if you want but you could also just attend the game exactly that's so Skylight. cool Skylight Theater Thanks. I love it all right you can follow Ryan J on social media at Ryan J reviews for his full archive of entertainment reviews to help you decide what to see stream or skip it's RyanJReviews.com.